Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to talk to you about my presentation and the book I read, Grit to Grades. It was written by Linda Kaplan Thaler and Robin Koval. My name is Andrea Seidel. So first of all, we're going to talk about a grit state of mind and the knowledge loom, the leadership principles and technology. Well, what is grit? According to the book, grit is the result of a hard fought struggle, a willingness to take risk, a strong sense of determination, working relentlessly toward a goal, taking challenges in stride, and having the passion and perseverance to accomplish difficult things, even if you are wallowing in the most difficult circumstances. Grit is the secret to success. When we talk about vision, is a clear understanding of what you want in life and going after it with all you have. It is about taking the leap of faith, taking that risk without looking back. What it also talked about is just getting out, getting up, getting out there and getting the job done. In the book, it talked about mediocre people that were told they didn't have a chance at being successful and they set out to prove everyone wrong. This would be like Michael Jordan. They put in the overtime, practiced and worked hard and fought until they got what they desired. The principle can be applied to schools, businesses, organizations, and personal life. I think that all of the knowledge loom principles can be applied to the book. They do have their differences, but they all can be applied to every aspect in life. What I think it's saying is just digging deeper and making things better for the school and community. If everybody's on the same page and share the same vision, then they all can dig deeper, a little deeper to get what's, what they want accomplished. Planning, it's mapping out a plan of action on how to accomplish the goal. It says, success is a journey, not a destination. So what that's saying is success is going to take, you will hardly ever know when you can measure success, but it's not a stopping point. You just keep doing it. The book talked about all the possible steps that are needed to be taken in order to reach the goal. What will need to be changed, added, and implemented. The Knowledge Loom focuses on the entire school in planning and mapping out assessments, development, implementing all the technology plans Whereas the book talks about yourself. But they both have to take the same steps in planning, just the end result's different. Access. Great is not a trait you are born with, but it is a trait that can be implemented. Some people are lucky enough to be born with it, but those that would like, to, like it can go ahead and work really hard to get it going. And everyone has access to it. And it says confidence, when confidence becomes a muscle memory, panic is replaced by peak performance. What it means is if you work really hard and put a lot of guts into it and a lot of grit into it, it's, that panic will go away and you will just keep going as you need to. If you want it, go and get it. There are no limits. In the Knowledge Luma it talks about school leaders taking the lead and making sure educators have equitable access to current hardware, software, connectivity that supports the instructional goals. What I think is saying is the leader is giving everyone access to the tools, whereas in the book, the person has to go out and find the tools on their own. Integration. What you have to do is just do the work, get the job done, and take that chance. In the middle, it talks about, I put growth mindset versus fixed mindset. In the book, it talks about a growth mindset is the ability to bend, flow, and adapt. That ability to, what they talked about, a bamboo, a, the bamboo plant where it can bend and sway wherever it needs to, but it just never breaks. In a fixed mindset, people believe that their intelligent talents are fixed traits based on genetic inheritance. So when they come to a roadblock, they just stop and shut down. They can't fix it. Whereas someone with a growth mindset, they can adapt to that situation and persevere. 
You may wonder why there's a safety net on the bottom. Well, in the book, it talked about the safety net of self-doubt. People self have self-doubt because they're too scared to take that risk. So just say no to it. The three questions you want to ask yourself is when you're having self-doubt, what is the problem? What's the worst that can happen? Is the worst case scenario real or just my perspective, emotional response to it? That's on page 67. So when you're having self-doubt, ask yourself those questions. And I really like this quote from the book. It says, the only limits we have are those we place on ourselves. The Knowledge Loom says, it must model the purpose use of technology and ensure that students and teachers integrate technology into daily classroom practice. I think what it's saying is, if you are living, if you are living with grit in your daily life, people are going to notice it and hopefully will try it. You just need to inspire others and live life with grit. Use it in every situation, such as the leaders are doing in their school about technology. Assessment and evaluation. It's okay to fail, it's okay to succeed, but it's not okay not to never try. You need to be able to embrace the gift of failure. And what you need to do is step back and evaluate what happened in your situation, if you failed, what can be done different, and keep trying and regroup and find new innovative ways to try it. In the book, it talked about James Dyson failed over 5,000 times to make his first vacuum, and it took over 15 years, but he never gave up and kept trying. The knowledge loom is to utilize assessment and evaluation techniques to inform decision making and ensure continuous improvement in, in teaching and learning. I think it talked about how just to find new ways to accomplish the end goal and don't ever give up. Just always regroup and see what you can be done different. And in the book, it talked about a man that set out to desensitize himself from to failure. So he went around and asked a hundred questions to get a hundred no's. And what he found was the more he got comfortable with rejection, he was able to get more yeses. Support. A handful of patients is worth more than a bushel of brains. Have the patience with yourself when things aren't going as planned. Always remember to give yourself credit when you deserve it. Giving yourself credit will develop more of a growth mindset and you can continue to grow. But just remember, do not overdo it. Do not get arrogant, but always believe in yourself. I think that school leaders need to support the use of technology throughout their system and to make sure it runs smooth. The same goes as the book. We need to support yourself and others to make sure things work properly and need to find the great Find the grit and continue to grow both emotionally and physically and support each other. Professional development and community relationships. Doing the research, going behind the scenes, doing the homework, finding the resources and putting in the extra time. I link the two together because it's something a person can turn to for help and guidance. Because all of it centers around continuing learning. The knowledge loom in the book, I don't feel go hand in hand, but I think that what it's trying to say is continue to learn, always seek more self-growth and collaborate with your community to develop something even bigger than, and develop something bigger that you could have ever imagined. Ethical and legal issues, just do the right thing, know right from wrong and make ethical choices. In the book, it talked about have the grit and determination to succeed against all odds, while others do not. It is not about having nothing to lose, but so much to gain. Just always think of the positive. And grit. Always use grit. You got it. Guts, resilience, initiative, and tenacity. Thank you.